most of us eat every day, some of us too much, because yesterday's food is not enough to supply energy for today's needs. Why then do some of us expect yesterday's portion of heavenly manna, the word of God, to keep us through today's challenges? On this program, we are going to change all of that. Let's experience God's words today and receive the power we need to live healthy, vibrant lives. Welcome to your daily portion with your host, author, speaker, L. David Harris. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Tuesday, August 9, 2022. Hello, my name is L. David Harris. I am your host, and this is your daily portion where we give you God's word every single day. And today is no exception. We are continuing in our lesson study series in the crucible with Christ. Our caption for today is our father's presence, our father's presence. We'll get into that in just a moment, but first I'd like to welcome you and ask you to please continue to share, continue to pray, continue to let your friends know that the Word of God is the feature this morning and all mornings early, five o'clock. Now I know in certain parts of the world, uh, your time zones are changing, like you, they change. But in Jamaica, where I am, uh, the time is always five o'clock at five o'clock. It's There's no Eastern they like savings time and changes one way or the other. No falling back, no going forward. So I want you to just kind of keep that in your mind as we move forward uh, because uh, some people get confused. Please go over to yourdailyportion.com and go ahead and click that uh, join and the support button. And that way we can come into a community where we can talk about this particular study and we can pray, have testimonies, that kind of a thing, and see what great things the Lord is doing. Going. And the community is there. Some of you who are in the community are wondering, well, why is it silent? It's silent because of you, not me, because I'm here every morning and I am welcoming you, welcoming you to make your comments, ask your questions. I'm saying that to you now. And in the group, if you do, then we'll discuss, right? If you don't, then we'll just say, okay, I guess everything is just fine. You get it? Yourdailyportion.com. Let's go ahead and pray. And then we will get underway. Father, thank you for being so kind and loving and being holy. Help us to live as in the visible presence. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen again. Our Father's presence. I'll read a passage from Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13, uh, share a principle with you, and then go back to Isaiah chapter 41, okay? And so verse 13 says, For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. When God seems far away, who is the one who has moved? Is it you? Is it God? Well, we know it's not God. God doesn't move away from us unless we are separating ourselves consistently from him. In Isaiah 59, it says that God is able to really stay in, in contact with you. He's able to forgive you. He's able to, to keep a good relationship with you. But uh, your iniquities, speaking to human beings, your iniquities have separated between you and your God that he may not hear. And so the Bible also teaches us in the beginning of the Bible, in the book of Exodus, yes, as God is hearing, I think it's Exodus chapter 6, God is hearing the groanings of his people. They are under the bondage of the Pharaoh who did not know Joseph, who didn't care about the favor that God had put on the people of God under Joseph's time as prince of Egypt, if that's the right term for him. Yeah, so now they're under bondage, and, and God is speaking to Moses and saying, let the children of Israel know that I'm the Lord that is hearing their groanings, but first let me reveal myself to you. I'm going to reveal myself to you by a name that the patriarchs who came before you did not experience. Yes, they knew the term, but they didn't experience me in this way, God speaking. Uh, Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, they knew me by God Almighty. But I am going to reveal, I'm going to manifest the, the truth of my, of my essence as, as Yahweh. Blessed be his name, or some of your Bibles may say Jehovah. Blessed be his name. He is the one who is self-existent. He's eternal. He's not just the one who creates, who's almighty, who thunders 
wonders from his throne room, but he is the one who is with you. He's so close to you that he can hear your groanings way down here on planet Earth. Jesus of Jesus, his brother Judas, or Jude, would have said, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence, ha, huh, with exceeding joy. So God is saying that I want you in my presence. I will take you into my presence. Ah, huh? the inspired writings say that prayer does not bring God down to us, but it brings us up to him. Paul said that he wants us to be seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. And so we're talking about the presence, the presence. Inspiration says that we should be living as in the visible presence of God. And so the Bible reads here in Isaiah chapter 41, and I will read beginning at verse 8, But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Have you been cast away by your fathers? Hmm? Have you been cast away by your fathers? I could talk to you about mine, but he's been deceased since uh, several years ago, so I'll just leave it there. I know what it's like not to feel like daddy cares. I know what that's like, and I determined under God and with the cooperation of my Simone, my wife of 21 good years now, and you know about that, that my son, our son, Josiah, will never have to doubt or wonder if his father is present, if he cares. OK, and so God is saying, uh, do you feel like I don't care? I want you to know that I have chosen you. I have chosen you and 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 I'm going to be with you. And the Bible reads here in verse nine, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, have called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, thou art my servant. I have chosen thee. I will not cast thee away. Verse 10. Fear thou not. I love this song for I am with thee. Be not dismayed for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with my right hand or the righteous the right hand of my righteousness behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded they shall be as nothing they that strive with thee shall perish so those who are god's children i'm not going into the context there but we can learn about god uh making it seem as if he was far away for just a moment of time while the while the children of israel were in exile but now he's saying listen i have ransomed you i have called you by my name and those who feel like they can just have their way with you because I allowed you to fall into their hands so I could chastise you. They need to step back. They need to stand down, sit down, lay down, step back, fall back, whatever way you want to call it, because I am now showing that you are chosen. I am your God. I have manifest my presence among my people. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about God's people who still love him. And the Bible says um, that uh, uh, don't fear, don't fear, I shall be with you. And the Bible says, fear not, verse 14, thou worm Jacob and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. God's confidence is wonderful. He is with us. And if we will accept that confidence, then we will make it through every trial. How can you lose when the Father is present with you? How can you lose when he has promised to be with you? How can you lose when your Father will defend you? Have a wonderful day. Peace. Thanks for joining us, listening friends. Always remember, we cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. This has been your daily portion with L. David Harris. Make it a great day.